So when it comes to strokes, it's important to be fast. <clears throat> the FAST acronym, which is facial droop, arm drop, speech, and then time. That spells FAST. So the issue with the FAST acronym and the FAST assessment for strokes is that it is not very sensitive, meaning not very good at picking up posterior strokes. The patients who are having a posterior stroke may not show signs of any of the fast stuff. So how do we pick up a posterior stroke? And by no means are they less important. They are just as important and are just as treatable. There is an acronym BFAST and for whatever reason we're not really taught this. And what's also interesting is that BFAST has better sensitivity and specificity. Which I've also made a video about sensitivity and specificity. But anyway, quickly, sensitivity is a true positive, meaning that when it is a positive test, how accurate is it at being positive? So if it is positive, how sure are we that it is positive? And a specificity is when it's negative, how sure are we knowing that it is negative? So a true negative. BFAST stands for balance eyes, facial arms, speech, time. So the balance part is all we need to do is have the patient stand up. If they're standing on their legs and they're losing their balance, that is a possible indicator of a posterior stroke, especially if they didn't have balance problems and now they're having balance problems. So the B is balance. E is for eyes. What we do is we shine a pupil torch into their eyes. And if one pupil is bigger than the other or unreactive when it normally was, that is also a sign. The F is for facial droop with there's a droop in the face. What is important that I find is that we kind of need a family member or someone who knows the patient. The easiest way to try and get them to smile. So if you like smile and there just doesn't smile on both sides, that's kind of a giveaway. But some people might have had previous strokes and therefore not that reliable. The A is arm droop. So what you want to do is you want them to sit up or stand, get them to lift their hands, palms facing up and close their eyes. And one arm will fall. That's arm drop. And then there's the S for speech, where you can get them to say, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Or you can get them to say whatever you want. But if they have a family member or friend of the patient who knows them, because some people have slurred speech, it can sometimes be difficult for us to know what is normal. T is for time. Is that 10 o'clock last night or 10 minutes ago? This changes priority because it will depend on how much of the brain can be saved. So time is brain. If you are watching this because you want to know more about strokes, this is valuable to you. If you think someone has had a stroke, you can do a BFAST test really quick. It's quite accurate. If they have any of those six symptoms and you're concerned about a stroke, that is enough to get to hospital. So guys, I hope this was helpful. We'd love to know your comments and your thoughts below. Thanks for your time and bye for now.